it's been shared on Facebook. It's probably where you saw it. And I think it's a great idea. Um, I know it's not for every family. I know some parents don't want their children labeled maybe necessarily through something like this or, or to be singled out. Um, but I think definitely if you have a nonverbal child, um, whether they're five or 15 or 25, if they want to go trick or treating and they want others to know that, hey, they're on the spectrum and to maybe take a little bit more time with them, be patient and understanding, then um, carry this blue pumpkin. And hopefully by now, this, is, this has been going on now for about two or three years, and this year really has gained a lot of momentum. So hopefully the, the community is aware that when they see these blue pumpkins, what it's about and that they'll do that very thing and just um, take their time, communicate with the, with the young one, and uh, have, let them have a great Halloween experience. You know, if you are the one giving out the candy and see the blue pumpkin, you know, and there might be that line of six or eight other kids behind them, you know, clamoring, waiting, waiting their turn, you know, just maybe take a little bit of extra time, just, you know, for, not just for the parents, but for the child specifically, and, you know, interact with them a little bit, and, you know, don't, you know, if they don't say thank you or, or tr you know, trick or treat, you know, just understand that. Um, you know, as a parent, I know how appreciative I would, I would be of that. So that, that's all that I think that we're asking. If you see that blue pumpkin, just, you know, a little patience and interacting with our kids.